G'day guys, Red Cole back for the first time in a long time. Oh, sorry about that, I have been a bit busy with other parts of my life and have been a bit lacking on the long form content and I thought I would get around to that before people started asking. So, without further ado, I'd like to get into our Harrow build for those who could not call it by the title, thumbnail and what you have already seen displayed. But before we get into it, don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe. Now, before we get, now that we're getting into it, let's start off this video in the most appropriate spot. That being, going over Harrow's personal kit abilities and passives. So, of course, he has a passive that doubles over shield possibility and starts missions with the max amount of energy. His first ability, Condemn, casts a wave that has a range of approximately 20 meters that chains enemies in place for 6 seconds. It increases shields by 150 per enemy hit. His next ability is Penance, sacrifices shields to gain fire rate and reload speed. While active, converts damage dealt to enemies to health for you and allies. His third ability is Thrumbled, which channels abilities into generate X amount of energy where X where you can generate energy by X amount of energy for each kill and you increase the energy amount with headshots. This may be a bit confusing but you can see it in play through various parts of my teammates and this also goes off to teammates. And finally his number, his four ability or big ability is Covenant which protects all the team from damage absorbing it and converting it into a crit chance after the protection is given. Uh, this is just a basic run over for Harrow's abilities and kit and for that reason this is why I believe you personally believe you should be focusing on duration and range with strength being added over efficiency due to the energy gain ability and you're not really needing to have efficiency but duration and range will always come in handy and as will the strength behind the abilities. Up on the screen you can see the build I am using for this video and my personal Haro build. Uh, I've tried to leave Archons off but still have used my Primes because I'm sure you can figure out which ones you can substitute for your own personal economy and where to put Archons and where not to as each of them are pretty self explanatory to what they do and how they are used. So we will get on to the next part of this build which would be my personal preference and what weapons you should be using and well Warframe has a lot of diverse weapons so I'm not going to say this one is the one you should use with Harrow I will go out and give more broad strokes along the lines of I like to use crit guns so I can generate crits to work into Harrow's playstyle and kit guns with more accuracy and single shot guns as well as using status based or crit based melee but only one and not hybrid as to create a more balanced feel when my abilities and kit do run out of energy if there are large amounts of extermis or nullifiers on the map. But yet again this all comes down to a personal play style and just because it works for me doesn't mean it's going to work for you so make sure to experiment and have fun. Now we'll be getting into the further parts of the game where we will be going over the helmet and Archon so thank you for watching if you haven't got to that part of the game but if you have let's see what I have done and let me know what you have done different would have done differently now personally with the helmet Harris kit is not necessarily something you need to change personally I just like to have a bit more ma mobility so I remove penance for the viral rush because I don't see the point in double stacking an immortality proc with a healing fact, especially when a lot of characters can run regen as an aura or you can heal through other means that are a lot easier such as melee weapons. But that is also kind of all comes down to a personal choice and if you want to keep your hero a straight hero that is fine or if you have had some better ideas let me know and I will try them out myself and let you know what I think. 
Now finally with the Archons, what I chose to do was one red, two blue, and two yellow. This was to add durations to, with the red so that my abilities go longer without me having to use a mod slot, obviously. Armor and health regen to decrease the amount of damage I was taking, and as I mentioned, I have gotten rid of my penance, so I have no access to my own healing. So by using my blue Archon to give health regen, I was able to mitigate that factor. And finally, I used the two yellows on casting speed so that I will be able to get my abilities in and out of the map at a faster rate. Now finally, I would like to go over the personal fashion frame. Of course, this is the most personal aspect with it. honestly every part of Warframe build would be impersonal and these build videos that you see online all the time more so to be used as a guide for the, the, the streamer or content creator you watch the most may have a build that can nuke the entire map that may not be your personal playstyle or you may not enjoy doing it so of course always go for the build style that you enjoy the most and build your frames to look how you, you think they should and not how others do me personally I built a what I consider an Archangel Harrow and this is what you've seen throughout the video and I will leave you with the rest of the gameplay and the steps you need to build this harrow. Thank you so much for watching, don't forget to like, follow and subscribe and let me know what other Warframes you might want to see me do build videos for.